Hey everybody, I got another one for you. Um, messing around last night, came up with something, and I don't have a name for it yet, but I'm going to show you what this is. I've got about seven feet of each color here. we got Firefighter, which is this one here, and uh, that's the red and black, and then I've got the turquoise here, which is some leftover uh, paracord I had from a roll of lumpy stuff that I sent back. All right. So, I've already fused the two ends together, which is right here. I'm going to take my buckle, take my two ends, which are already flattened, and go down through the buckle. And then I'm going to open up the two long ends here, grab hold, and pull on through. Get that out of the way. Now one trick that I saw a couple people doing, and I don't know why I haven't done this before, um, is that they pulled their, the fused part, they pulled that all the way through the cow's hitch and back through the buckle. Um, and what that does is that will, uh, there we go, that will put the fuse part inside of the bracelet because you'll just do your design over top of it and it won't be right here. Sometimes that'll stab into you. Okay, so we'll just flip the buckle over now, run the paracord through your fingers so that you can get rid of all the twists, and then we'll go up through the bottom of the buckle. Pull all that through. All right, now we can open the buckle up, and you're going to set your buckle up just like it is here. So you've got your female end here. The the paracord is coming up from the bottom through the through the buckle and off to the right and off to the left. Now this is where you're going to make your decision on what you want your dominant color to be. And I want the dominant color to be the red and black here. So we're going to start off by just doing a half hitch. So you're going to take your paracord off to the right. You're going to go around the two center strands and then go back over top and through. And I'll zoom in on this so that you can see what I just did here. Oops. So all we did is take the red and kind of looped it underneath and then over top and then underneath of itself right here. And we'll just tighten this up. Once you have that, then you're going to do a Solomon. And you want to make sure that this is in front of the buckle, not below. Just go over top of your two center strands, bring this off to the left. Take your left cord, go over that right cord, and then go up through that buckle, or through that loop. There we go. Pull this tight. Alright, now once you get to this point, you're going to do the same thing with the red one. We're going to do another half hitch, so go over top of your center strands, go behind the center strands, and then up through that loop. That'll give you the half hitch. Just like that. And we're going to do another Solomon. Do the red over top again. The right one goes over the left, behind the back, through that loop. And pull it tight. And then you can cinch that on up. I'm going to back this up just a little bit here. So yeah, I, I haven't done any research on this one yet. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but once I figure that out, I'll post it. Um, it was getting late last night when I was doing this one. Um, okay, so we're back, back to the half hitch again. So we go over top, go around and through, pull it tight.
and we'll do our Solomon. So it's real easy. You're just doing the half hitch and then the Solomon on both sides. The turquoise you probably don't even need a whole lot of paracord for. I'm probably going to end up cutting quite a bit of it off. But do your half hitch on both sides, or on one side do the Solomon. Do the half hitch on one side do the Solomon. It's a pretty easy one. If you're wondering where the band-aid came from, I was doing some paracord bracelets last night. Actually, I've got one right here. I was doing this one, and I cut myself with the scissors pretty good. Probably could use a, a stitch or two in my finger, but just paracord on, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I think you've got enough instructions here. Um, you just do your half hitch for your Solomon. So it'll create the loop go over the top two center strands go over the right cord take your left cord around the back and through that loop that'll give you your Solomon and you can kind of start to see the uh, design we got going here it's kind of a zigzag with the red and black and then the turquoise is kind of does a, a Solomon look to it but uh, yeah I'm gonna finish this up the back side is kind of a striped color almost looks like the boxed in design um, but I'm going to finish this on up and I'll be back. Alright, so let me see here. Um, I just did one of the half hitches here. This actually goes to this side. So what I have to do now is just do <clears throat> one more, <clears throat> excuse me, one more uh, Solomon here. So we'll just go underneath, around and back, come up through. And pull this tight. Now, where the um, where the firefighter c color goes underneath of the turquoise here, I'll zoom in on this so you can see what I'm talking about. There is a, a pretty big gap there. So in order to get this nice and tight to where I can singe this without worrying, it, worrying about it going back up through there, we'll just do one more Solomon. And that'll kind of fix that whole problem. So let's take this around the back and up and through. And pull that tight. It doesn't really affect the uh, the look of the pattern too much. Okay, so get to this point. I'm just going to snip the ends right where they're at. Oh, that might have been a little too much hanging off there. Um, let me see if I can get this. It's hard to see this flame with all these lights in here. Should be able to get it all right. Just kind of work at the end and then work my way down. There we go. And then I like to use my scissors to cool that down real fast. Not only that, but it gives it a really nice smooth feel to it. These are the scissors I cut myself with too, so we're not on the best terms right now. <laughs> Go. And there we have it. I did a little research, checked quite a few pages just before I came back, and this one, to the best of my knowledge, does not exist. Um, I'm going to call this the Sidewinder. And the only reason for that is because it has kind of this zigzag pattern that goes back and forth. Um, I might even call it the Sidewinder Solomon or the Solomon Sidewinder, but um, either way, that's the design. I hope you all like it. And thanks for watching. Until next time, paracord on.